October is the month of prayer and the Holy Rosary. Let's welcome this month of October by praying for God's blessings, favor, joy, goodness in this month. May God hear us as we sincerely begin this prayer by performing the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Lord, thank you that this new month of October is finally here. I want to begin by remembering your faithfulness in my life. You have helped me in all these past months, and so I will continue to praise you during this new month of October. Lord God, I come before you to confess my sins and to seek forgiveness. I am an imperfect person who has fallen short of your glory. Please, cleanse me from my sins. Forgive me for the times I have lied and for the times I was excessively angry. Forgive me for judging others and for the times I didn't help others. Please, help me become a better person with your forgiveness and wisdom. Father, I entrust to you this month of October. May all my needs and my financial problems, family problems, my health problems be resolved. I know that you will not allow me to lack in anything good. For this new month of October, I especially ask for your special grace. Lord God, I come before you with an open heart. I have verbally confessed to you my desires and hopes. So, at this moment, I claim that these matters inside my heart and mind will receive answers. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that I can speak to you freely and that you are readily available to me at all times. Teach me not to worry because you will continue to provide all my needs with your richness and glory. Give me a still and sound mind that focuses on you, because I know that having you as a foundation is a blessing of life. For this month of October, please bless my family. Keep them from harm and continue to shower them your grace and protection. Give them good habits and protect them from wrong company. Guide my family so that all together we will all be praising you. You have put them into my life for a reason. I want to live a life that is pleasing to you. One of my desires is to be close to your heart. Keep me and my loved ones close to your sacred heart. I also pray for our country and the world. Every day there is too much grief and sadness in the world. I lift up the people whom I do not know, the ones who are suffering. Lord, please, have mercy on their lives and ease their pain. I pray they find comfort in you. May they all understand that oh, at difficult times, worshipping and praising you is the best decision they will ever make. Keep my community peaceful and caring for each other. Please, Continue to bless me with an environment which I can grow and nurture love towards different people. Father, I leave to you the work of my hands. May my effort be pleasing in your sight. If I work at a job, please bless my job and my finances. If I am studying, please bless me with wisdom. I offer this in thanksgiving for all the kindness and favor you have blessed me with. I know that with your grace, I will be blessed with goodness for all the work that I will do in this month of October. Thank you, Father, for hearing the prayer I have said today. I know no detail escapes you, and I am confident that my concerns have caught the attention of the one and only living God. This truth alone is enough for me to believe that there are more good things ahead. That is why this month of October, I will continue to pray and communicate with you. 
because this month of October is a testimony that you have accepted me with open arms. I claim that my prayer are with you and in you. I place my trust and confidence forever. Now we'll say a prayer from the Bible, the book of Psalm 145, and it says, I will praise your greatness, my God and King. I will thank you forever and ever. Every day I will thank you. I will praise you forever and ever. The Lord is great and is to be highly praised. His greatness is beyond understanding. What you have done will be praised from one generation to the next. They will proclaim your mighty acts. They will speak of your glory and majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. People will speak of your mighty deeds, and I will proclaim your greatness. They will tell about all your goodness and sing about your kindness. The Lord is loving and merciful, slow to become angry and full of constant love. He is good to everyone and has compassion on, he, on who he has made. All your creatures, Lord, will praise you. And all your people will give you thanks. They will speak of the glory of your royal power and tell of your might, so that everyone will know your mighty deeds and the glorious majesty of your kingdom. Your rule is eternal, and you are king forever. The Lord is faithful to his promises, and he is merciful in all his acts. He helps those who are in trouble. He leaves those who have fallen. All living things look hopefully to you, and you give them food when they need it. You give them enough and satisfy the needs of all. The Lord is righteous in all he does, merciful in all his acts. He is near to those who call to him, who call to him with sincerity. He supplies the needs of those who honor him. He hears the cries and saves them. He protects everyone who loves him, but he will destroy the wicked. I will always praise the Lord. Let all his creatures praise his holy name forever. I believe in your divine provision and trust that you will provide for us in your perfect timing. I pray that by the intercession of St. Francis, that there be peace in our country and around the world. Let us pray. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in your giving that we receive. It is in your pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. To unlock the full potential of this prayer, it is suggested that you repeat it every day to the end of October. Share with people around you. Subscribe and click on the bell button to get more inspirational prayer updates. Thank you for tuning in to watch. May God's blessing be with you always. Shalom.